Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us all sing the opening hymn as we celebrate our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate St. Clair of Assisi, a follower and friend of St. Francis, especially in poverty, in charity, and prayer. And so, as we begin this Eucharistic celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, Grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, the headland of Pisgah, which faces Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead, and as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the western sea, the Negev, the circuit of the Jordan, with the lowlands at Jericho, city of palms, and as far as Zoar. The Lord then said to him, This is the land which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that I would give to their descendants. I have let you feast your eyes upon it, but you shall not cross over. So there, in the land of Moab, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died as the Lord had said, and he was buried in the ravine opposite Bethpor in the land of Moab. But to this day, no one knows the place of his burial. Moses was 170 years old and 20 years old when he died. Yet his eyes were undimmed and his vigor unabated. For 30 days, the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab till they had completed the period of grief and mourning for Moses. And now Joshua, son of Nan, was filled with the spirit of wisdom, since Moses had laid his hands upon him. And so the children of Israel gave him their obedience, thus carrying out the Lord's command to Moses. Since then, no prophet has arisen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He had no equal in all the signs and wonders. The Lord sent him to perform in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and against all his land. And for the might and the terrifying power that Moses exhibited in the sight of all Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Shout joy joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, How tremendous are your deeds. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Come and see the works of God, His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Hear now, all you who fear God, will I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Thank you. 
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen. I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, Amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we come to the conclusion of the life of Moses. For the past months, we have been listening in our first reading about the life of Moses, how he started as a prince in Egypt, and how God called him to save the people of Israel, how Moses guided the people of Israel all throughout their journey in the desert towards the promised land. Today, we come to the conclusion of his life. And Moses was on top of Mount Nebo in Moab. And as he was coming near the end of his life, God gave him the gift of seeing the promised land from afar. Although he was on top of Mount Nebo, God gave him the gift to see the promised land that they are about to enter. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gift of faith coming from God. The gift of faith allows us to see beyond what is here and now. Ang atin pong pananampalataya ay nagbibigay sa atin ng kakayahan. Binibigyan tayo ng kakayahan ng Diyos para makita hindi lamang kung ano ang nakikita ng ating mata ngayon kundi binibigyan tayo ng Diyos ng biyaya para makita ang hinaharap, para makita natin kung ano ang naghihintay para sa atin. And Moses, through his faith in God, was able to see the promised land from afar. My dear brothers and sisters, in our faith in God, in prayer, God will also let us see not just what we are seeing right now, not just what we are experiencing right now, but the faith, our faith in God will allow us to see beyond 
what is here and now. In our gospel passage today, Jesus asks his disciples to forgive one another, to talk to your brother who has sinned against you. Jesus is trying to tell us to see not only the sin that your brother has committed against you, but go beyond. See not only the sin that he has committed, but see that he is still your brother. And you need to reconcile with one another. And again, in our gospel passage today, Jesus teaches us that when we pray together, if two or three are gathered together in my name, in prayer, Jesus says, there am I in the midst of them. Whenever we gather in prayer, we do not just see one another, but through the eyes of faith, let us see beyond the presence of one another. And Jesus promises us that we will see His presence in the midst of us. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw po na ito, tinuturo din ni Jesus sa atin na makita ng ating mga mata sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya at pagdarasal hindi lamang kung ano ang mayroon sa ngayon, kundi makita rin natin ano ang naghihintay sa ating mga biyaya na inihanda ng Diyos. At this moment, maybe you are feeling tired. At this moment, maybe you are feeling already hopeless. At this moment, you are feeling sad and lonely. But when we pray to God, when we have faith in God, our physical eyes are replaced by God with the eyes of faith. And what we are seeing right now, what we are feeling right now, can be replaced by what God allows us to see beyond our sadness, beyond our loneliness, beyond our challenges, beyond our griefs. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we also commemorate St. Clair of Assisi. She followed the way of St. Francis of poverty, of living poor, of living in charity, of helping others, and living in prayer and in contemplation. Whenever St. Clair was asked, why did you choose to be poor? She would say that in poverty, she does not only see deprivation, but she would see Jesus in poverty. Whenever she prays in contemplation, whenever she attends the Mass, whenever she prays in front of the Holy Eucharist, she does not only see her companions, she would see beyond her companions. She would see the presence of God. And whenever she helps the poor, she tends for the sick, she does not only see her neighbor, she sees beyond that neighbor, she sees the presence of Jesus in the sick and in the poor. My dear brothers and sisters, through the gift of faith and prayer, Jesus allows us to see beyond what is here and now. This gives us faith. This gives us hope in what God 
has prepared for us. Amen. Jesus tells us today, if two of you agree to ask something, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. So we pray together and say, May your presence fill us, Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord. That the members of the church may be drawn close together in peace, living in peace and harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. May, May your, your presence, presence fill us, Lord, Lord, that leaders of nations may respect the rights of every person and avoid repression and atrocities. Let us pray to the Lord. May, May your presence fill us, Lord, Lord, that we may have the courage to speak the truth with love and accept criticisms graciously. Let us pray to the Lord. May, May your presence fill us, Lord, that the sick, the aged, and the housebound may see God's comfort and consolation in the compassion of those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. May, may your, your presence, presence fill us, Lord, that the dead may be cleansed and prepared for eternal unity with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. May, may your, your presence, presence fill us, Lord. Heavenly Father, with your Son in our midst, we ask you to help us believe in the goodness of each person and be patient with one another as you have been good to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, Blessed Clare, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the Blessed Clare, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight at 9 p.m., we will be again uh, become one in prayer and uh, as we pray the healing rosary for the world. And tonight as we uh, celebrate today the feast day of St. Clair, uh, our healing rosary will be led by the community of the Poor Clares Monastery in uh, Kabuyao, Laguna. Our rosary will be led by the Poor Clare Sisters from their monastery in Laguna tonight. And so, let us come together again this evening as we pray the Holy Rosary, especially to be led by the community of uh, the Poor Clares in Laguna. And we ask for the intercession of St. Clare so that in prayer and in faith, we can come together and become a healing community together. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.